What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. We are going to check out a new drop, Post Malone featuring Morgan Wallen here. If you're new here, what's up? I used to be a country hater and now a country lover. What does it have to do with Post Malone? I've noticed that Post has been doing more and more country stuff. So lo and behold, he's doing a song with Morgan Wallen. Morgan Wallen was actually a key catalyst in my, uh, you know, changing my mind about country. Homie's voice, uh, his songs. His songs are being written by Hardy. So Hardy's become one of my favorite country, like, writers and artists in general as well. Mor Morgan Wallen's dope. So just love seeing how much Post is doing in the country space and i'm frankly hoping this song will be a country song but we'll see what it is nonetheless i, I want post to do a full-blown country album bro not beyonce what the freak was that if you're a beyonce fan all good so let's check this out thank you guys so much for clicking on this video didn't know this was coming out till this morning uh working out at the gym just scrolling through youtube saw that this was going to be released here shortly so so let's roll it odds are you are here because you already checked this out and you loved it and you just want to see someone else listen to it with you and if that's the case cool here we are set aside your worries let's just enjoy some good music together yeah when we let's let's hope it's good no dude the the song's fully full-blown country i love it i what has happened to me i'm all pumped that dude it's country music i can't explain the transformation i was just i was ready for it this is and okay this style of country right here is one of my favorites i typically like country for either storytelling or just levity into i don't know kind of like a sad situation because like the song is really sad here you got a, a lot of you got a lot of nerve don't you baby I only hit the curb because you made me. You're telling all your friends that I'm crazy, like I'm the only one. Why'd you throw them stones? You had a wild hair of your, of your own or two. Living in your blit. Uh, man, I can't read today. Big glass house with a view. I thought you knew. I had some help. It ain't like I did this all by myself. Don't act like you ain't helped me. Pull that bottle off the shelf. Been deep in every weekend. If you couldn't tell, they say teamwork makes and dream work. Hell, I had some help. So talking about how in a relationship that isn't going too well, you go... You're crazy, right? You're just not ready for a healthy relationship here. And saying teamwork makes a dream work. Hell, I had some help. So it's a sad song. But upon first listening to the song, it's like happy and, and fun. I love it when country does that, dude. A lot of country music is uh, adding levity to a, a situation so that you ideally can, you know, overcome it. Why not? Excited for Morgan's verse. Let's uh, let's see what, what we got here. Bro, that song was freaking... That was great. Had everything I liked about it, bro. All right, so now, country tech boxes. America, America flag. Beer, trucks, bar, chicks. Humor, sad story, but with humor. Levity, steel guitars, everything. Morgan Wallen is a freaking, with his angelic voice. Don't really know about how much he lives. Uh, like, I know how he lives his life and you know, whatnot. I watched this interview in, uh, with Barstool Sports and that was funny. Post Malone's was really funny too. I loved everything about this, bro. So let's talk about the Beyonce country attempt there again. Like, this ain't Texas. I hate that song. I am super easy to please, and I but I hated that song. But I mean, it sticks with you. I can't, like, now I can't get that. It ain't Texas. I can't get that out of my head, so there's something there. Freak it. it dude, it, it, I, I loved it, man. I absolutely loved it. Credits featuring Morgan Wallen, produced by these guys. Writers, Post Malone's and the, uh, po Post Malone's? Post Malone, Morgan Wallen. Okay. F frankly, it, sound, it felt like a Hardy song, so that's why I was wondering if he was going to be on the credits, but no. I had some help. Dude, that song's dope. We're adding it to the play country playlist right now. It makes it day one. There's a... Um, on, on my channel, there's been, you know, country fans who are, you know, very stuck to old school country, right? Uh, they want the, they want to keep country pristine according to them, which I understand. Star Wars was pristine until Disney, and I hate what they're doing. So, like, I understand, you know, making Star Wars for every, I don't know, whatever, whatever they freak they did. Con country fans want to keep what made country country just Keep it pristine. Um, I I've I've really enjoyed modern country. I've I've enjoyed everything, mostly everything that people have sent me. So I just enjoy the genre uh, as it is, and being new to enjoying the genre, I, I like it all. Well, I mean, it's just different. I feel like this does a tribute to what country is in every way. Like if you're a Toby Keith fan, which apparently Post Malone is, didn't isn't there this video going around of him doing a singing? A Toby Keith song. It, it, it has Toby Keith like elements in it, right? The, a story, a funny story in the music video. 
again, singing about something sad, but let's make it funny just to like handle this. It, it was all there for me, man. This, if you're a, a an old school country fan, you're hesitant about modern country. Now you have this guy, Post Malone, coming into the genre. Man, you got to welcome him with open arms. He's He clearly loves the genre. So... Um, I love it. I I hope uh, everyone, you know, on my channel that you're loving it. Comment down below. Please let me know. Let's do a quick uh, comment analysis here. Comments are predominantly positive and excited. You, you express joy, excitement, love and admiration for Post Malone and Morgan Wallen and that, uh, that collaboration. People are talking about, you know, again, the collab between different genres, Post Malone's versatility. Yep. There's disappointment in release timing. Who the freak cares? There's desires for more collaborations. There is minimal constructive feedback. One viewer suggests that Post Malone's voice in the release song sounds different from the different snippets and they would have preferred the uncut gritty voice that was promoted. This feedback can be used. Okay. I, I like Post Malone's more gritty voice too. I, I, I don't like the doctoring and auto-tune. I don't think he needs auto-tune. I think he has such a unique voice that I, I'd like to see, see more of it. Dude, I have never seen a sentiment breakdown like this. People freaking love the song. Which makes me happy. We're we're all in agreement here. Thank you guys for clicking on the vi on this video and hanging out with me. We'll talk soon. Peace out, everybody.